Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. Here we have the Volvo XC40 uh, on a 70 plate as you can see. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside of it. From the outside you can of course see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside uh, the boot space first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that from the key just here uh, or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you can see reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then, as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through some controls. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, firstly, you can see the alloy wheels are all in pristine condition as is the bodywork the entire way around the vehicle. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Uh, over on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the speedometer. We have a digital readout for the speedometer and the total mass of this car, they are 14,944. Over on the right-hand side, the rev counter, we have the fuel gauge, uh, and also, just above that, uh, you will see that it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic. Of course, we are in park at the moment. In the sensor, you will have no doubt have noticed that we've got the satellite navigation being displayed. You can change that uh, for various different things. So you've got your trip computer, for example, uh, media, phone, uh, once you've paired your phone, and your navigation. And all of those are accessed via the buttons just here. We have voice activation here as well. Uh, we have cruise control on the left hand side then over into the center the main touch screen for the car so you can open up the satellite navigation here and as you'll see really nice clear color display uh, you can very easily operate all of that as a touch screen as you can see the button here is the only physical button for this screen and that will take you back to the home screen uh, and allow you to access things like your music for example you'll see there we have dab radio we've got bluetooth audio uh, FM radio as well, of course, you can pair your phone under the phone heading and then at the bottom just here is where you will go into your climate control menu. So you can turn your air conditioning off, back on again, you can recirculate the air that's in the car, you can determine what direction the air is being distributed in, you can uh, control the fan speed from on here as well. We can adjust the passenger temperature either with the slider or just by tapping uh, the temperature that you want and it's the same for the driver's side as well you can close those down we can uh, then control the heated driver and passenger seat uh, both seats have got three separate heat settings each below that we have the main volume for the stereo as well as a few physical stereo buttons our hazard warning lights are there as well plenty of storage space usb input a 12 volt charging socket the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox this button puts you in park, everything else is done on the lever itself. And then we have an electronic handbrake with an auto hold function as well. The last thing I wanted to run through is the paperwork we hold for the car. So you can see the V5 registration document. The key you're looking at there is the spare key. So there are two keys in total. We then have the service book, which shows the pre-delivery inspection done in 2020. We then have a service for 21, 23 and 24 all in the book there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.